Hi, this is Jerry from AppDataWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple job in the task scheduler to wake up your computer so that your Shadow Protect Backup service can back up your computer on its schedule. The problem with Shadow Protect is that it will not wake your computer from sleep mode. So if you want to save energy and allow your computer to go to sleep, it will never wake up to do the backup. So like in my case, I have my backups running every night at 9.30 p.m., a full backup on Sunday night and incremental backups during the week. If I want those backups to run, I either have to leave my computer running all the time or I have to make sure that it is awake at 9.30. My computer I have set up to go into sleep mode after 30 minutes of inactivity. So this became a problem for getting my backups to run and, and being able to save energy at the same time. So what I did was created a very, very simple dummy batch file and a Windows scheduler job to run that batch file one minute before Shadow Protect starts its backups. So this is basically all you have to do. In C, users, and then whatever your, your name is. But you can actually put this in the, in the root of C. I'm, I'm just putting it in the root, in my own root. So C users Jerry, okay? In here, I'm gonna create a new text document, okay? And call it dummy.bat. The reason why I wanna make it a batch file is so that when it runs, it, it just opens and closes immediately. If I made it a text file, it would just open and then it'd be on the screen every day, I'd have to close it. So yes, I wanna change the type and then I'm gonna open this by clicking edit and just type REM. Uh, that's that's uh, the standard remark or comment keyword for a batch file. So then we'll just save that, and there's our dummy file. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is in task scheduler, um, and let me show you how to get to that. For those who don't already know, the rest of us, we, are, we know how to do that. You just right click on your My PC. If it's not on your desktop, you can go to the Start menu. Oh yeah, this PC, okay, click Manage and computer management comes up and we're going to click on the task scheduler library now in here we're just going to create a new task very simple we're going to create a task we're going to give it a name wake pc from sleep we're going to run it when whether the computer is logged in or not and we're going to make sure we store the password the next tab is triggers and we're just going to create a time trigger we will make it daily at 9.29 p.m. And the rest of this stuff is just leave it alone. It's enabled. And then the actions is going to be to start a program. And all we have to do now is just browse to C, users, Jerry, and there's our batch file. Select the batch file, say OK. And there are no conditions uh, except select wake the computer to run this task. That's how it's going to wake up. And that's it. Allow the task to be run on demand. Stop the task that runs for three days. These are all defaults. I just leave them alone. And now you're going to have to put in your password for the user that will run the job. Now just remember, if you change your Windows password, this batch job's not going to run anymore. You're going to have to go in here and change the passwords, resave this, open it up, edit it like this. You just double click, edit, and then save. And it's going to ask you for your password again. And that's pretty much it. So now what happens? We can... Um, can test it out. Okay, last runtime right now says never. And we can right click and say run. And let's refresh the list. Last runtime is um, at 11.03. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do. Now this batch job will run. It'll wake the computer up. The computer won't go back to sleep for, for 90 minutes or for 30 minutes or whatever you have it set for. And as long as Shadow Protect is running, it won't go back to sleep. While Shadow Protect is running a backup, especially a full backup, if, even if it takes two hours, your computer will stay running. And then after 30 minutes of inactivity, once the job stops, it'll, it'll shut down. It'll go back into sleep mode. This is Jerry from AppDataWorks. Have an awesome day.